The following program is paid for by the Real Estate Radio Network. You're listening to Real Estate Radio Fresno on 105.9 The FM KMJ. Now, live in studio, your host, local real estate expert, Craig Barton. Good morning, Central Valley. I am your host, Craig Barton, and welcome to the Real Estate Radio Network, the most important hour of radio each week here on 105.9, the FM KMJ. Real Estate Radio is a show dedicated to bringing some rational thought to the crazy world that we live in and helping you to rebuild the Central Valley's housing and credit markets. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted advice, and that's exactly what you are going to hear Every Sunday morning from 7 to 8 a.m. right here on 105.9, the FM KMJ. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning, Greg. Yeah, I, I meant that to you. That was that was my one-on-one Sunday morning. Thanks so much for being here, Michelle. It didn't sound as heartfelt as you know, this one that well, you've just given now. <laughs> okay, well, the, there's there's another try at it. <laughs> it's it's early. Keep working it, baby. Keep Cut working me some slack. It. It's okay. early still. Good okay. morning. Good How morning. are you? I'm doing great, kid. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, I'm really good. Yeah, enjoying the. Uh, I guess the coolness that we've experiencing this week. Now it's starting to warm up. Well, so. it, it, yeah, I think it kind of reminds me of Ben Bernanke. <laughs> hot and yeah, cold and hot and cold. Hot and cold, yeah. yeah. the whole week's been that way, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll get to that down. later, I'm A little bit of sure. a roller coaster. Yeah, a little bit. Nice foreshadowing. Thank you. I like that. Oh, don't start with the shadow inventory again. <laughs> As always, it's so good to have our special guest host, Michelle Lynn Pettis. Is that your screen name? That's my official birth name. That's your official birth name. That's right. I love it. Michelle is a licensed realtor and uh, part of our team at Valleywide. Quite a team we have. Aren't you? Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, let me tell you. Star love studded. my team. Yeah, I love our teams. Thanks so much for being here, Michelle. You know, the Real Estate Radio Network gives us the opportunity to reach so many people efficiently for one full hour each and every week. You know, it's no doubt that we actually go on the air and, you know, you've got 11 million listeners. I've got one, um, and that's not my wife, just so you know, um, that uh, it helps to make us, uh, you know, th- this is a great soapbox, as you would put it, a great platform for us to be able to get the work out, the word out, mm-hmm. and hopefully address some topics that are relative or relevant, relative, relevant to our listeners. Well, they might be relative also. Yeah, they that. might be relative as well. The market. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Our goal with the Real Estate Radio Network is to get you, our listeners, the timely and accurate truth about your local real estate market so we can help bring you back home. On today's show, foreclosures jump as banks bet on rising U.S. home prices. Mm. Also, economists are asking, did uh, Mr. Bernanke tip his hand this week? I think he was playing Chatty Cathy this week, and I don't know that he knew what he was in for. Yeah, I'm not sure he knows what's in store. Yeah. It's a little scary. There's some some Fed governors that wish he would have just stayed quiet. (laughs) However, so how do you handle consumers who are waiting for interest rates to go back down. No, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm good. I'm, I'm, like, I'm just going to sit here. I'm, very carefully. I'm just going to wait. That's how we handle yeah, them. Exactly. And uh, did you know that uh, fierce competition and high demand, it's actually forcing builders to, uh, you know, ask people to, all right, step on up and spin that wheel. Roulette? Are we yeah. playing roulette or the lotto? It, 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 it actually, it, it's kind of both. Wow. Okay, yeah. can't wait to hear that one. Yeah, camp out. Spin the wheel. Are they really? Yes, they are. I miss yep. that. Awesome. And what did the recent jump in mortgage interest rates this past week do to your purchasing power? Okay. Do they really want to know that? Because let me tell you. Well, we've got some answers We've got a little here. flustered market out there right uh, now. We do, just a little bit, yeah. And Michelle and I are going to stand on opposing sides of that story right there and help to give you our take. We're also going to take some listener questions. Make sure you stay with us. Again, if you have any real estate or mortgage-related questions or questions regarding the information that Michelle and I share with you on our show. It all starts with one call, and that's a call from you. Any Call us anytime during the show, after after the show, 800-979-3958. Again, that's 800-979-3958. We'd love to hear from you. You can also go to our website. Check out our resources online. Go to valleywidesells.com. To friend us on Facebook, use press 4 keywords. Friend Valleywide on Facebook. Or use press 4 keywords. KMJ, call Valleywide. To call into us anytime. To share a story, to ask a question. Lots of good questions coming forth. Yeah, there are. Tons. We'd love to hear from you. Well, today's hot property is a HUD home. 
Uh, brought to you by Perfect Inspections. Residential, multifamily, commercial. Use press for keywords, Perfect Home Inspections. Or call Dale today for your Perfect Home Inspection at 352-6941. Again, that's 352 352- Six nine four one. Well, today's HUD home is 2592 Mesa Avenue in Clovis, California, 93611. This three-bedroom, two-bath, 1,513 square foot home was built in 1996. It was recently appraised with an FHA appraisal at $170,000. That is also, ironically, the asking price. price. Exactly. <laughs> we take all the we take all the mystery out That's of it. That's right. So what should I offer? Yeah. Yeah. It's been appraised at 170. The uh, appraisal was just recently done on June 12th. The bidding deadline on this property is let's see here, July 4th. Um so if you would uh and there is no repairs on this property. That's the part I like. So any buyers who are 200,000, 150 to 200,000, well, 170 to 200,000 mm-hmm. should be taking a look at this property. It's in great condition. No it, repairs. It, it really is. Zero None. repairs. And it's, uh, it's interesting because I had an agent call me this week and say, well, I've got a young gal that wants to potentially put an offer in on it, but she's a young single gal, doesn't want to have to make any repairs. I said, this is the perfect home for her. Yeah. Exactly. There's yeah. no repairs necessary. And, and it really is, for me, I, I love the opportunity to talk to agents because it gives me the opportunity to help educate them on the ease of purchasing HUD homes. Yeah. We had Sal Hernandez from Valley Wide Homes last week on the on, here on the Real Estate Radio Network to talk about just exactly how easy mm-hmm. these pre-appraised properties are. Isn't that, yeah, that is significant for our buyers out there who are owner-occupant, yep. who are frustrated with this market. These are a perfect, perfect. And no competition with Option. investors mm-hmm. until this property has been on the market for 30 days. And investors need not apply. And until it won't last 30 days July in most 25th. cases. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you'd like to save yourself the cost of an appraisal, which is roughly $450 if you're a buyer, or save your buyer if you are an agent, $450. HUD will also pay 100% of the escrow fee on this particular property. If you'd like more information about today's hot property, give us a call anytime, 800-979-3958. Again, that's 800-979-3958. Or use press for keywords. KMJ Hot Property. And we will send you more information about this hot property right to your phone. Look for more hot properties each week right here on the Real Estate Radio Network. Well, top stories in the news, 1,146 active listings in Fresno County. You know, we've got roughly about 1.6 months' worth of inventory. I think that might be about 30 more than we had last week. Yes, it is. So, yeah. can I, can the I number, dance a little, a well, little ditty? Because that's 30 more properties out there. Hallelujah. It is 30 more properties. I think it's just a little premature that, to start dancing, dancing your... Gosh, Greg. <laughs> dancing your, fun out of my your day. gig your jig just quite yet. Why is that? Well, because I don't know that we've or that we're going to have the opportunity to see, you know, 30 properties is 30 properties. 30 properties equates to roughly 5% um in terms of what we see closing on a monthly basis. So, my question is Craig, my cup is half full. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you keep when trying am to pour it out. Board the cup half full train. That's John? right. Stop pouring my water out. <laughs> Stop being the wet blanket on my party, That's right? right. That's know. right. Yeah. Hey, any increase in the inventory to me at this moment, based on where we've been, is um, Significant. good for buyers. Yeah, it is good for buyers. However, I will say this. My belief is, let me expound a little greater on my belief as to why it's just a little premature. You want to borrow my soapbox? Yeah, I do. I, okay. Excuse me. Scoot All that yours. soapbox. Okay. <laughs> scoot that over here real quick. All right. Um the effect that we are going to see in terms of Ben Bernanke's comments, and we'll get into greater detail a little later in the show. We want to save really the best for later in the meat and potatoes of things. But that to see that effect is going to take time. To see the effect of are we going to slow the pace at which properties sell on a monthly basis, uh, well, an increase in interest rates is going to definitely have an impact on buyer's perception. As well, later in the show, we're going to talk about a buyer's ability to be able to qualify. If you have not been in contact with your mortgage loan officer in the last two weeks, you need to get, and you were already pre-approved, you need to, to reconnect You need to reconnect with them and re-crunch the numbers yeah, because absolutely. your ability to qualify has definitely been affected on what we've, based upon what we've seen yeah. over the last two weeks. Absolutely. Absolutely. And honestly, be in contact with your loan officer throughout the process in order to make sure that you're on top of whatever it is that's changing out there. Because sure. it's not just the rates that right. change periodically. 
Awesome. Exactly. Well, Bloomberg reports this week that foreclosures jumped as banks bet on rising U.S. home prices. Home repossessions in the U.S. jumped 11% in May after declining for the previous five months as, a, as rising prices and limited inventory for sale across the country spurred banks to begin actively completing foreclosures. <laughs> well, lenders took back 38,946 homes, up from 34,997 homes in April. You know what boggles my mind? Just the simple fact that we're talking somewhere between 35 and almost 39,000 foreclosures nationally. Uh, this was according to Irvine-based data firm Realty Track, which tracks notices of default, action, auctions, excuse me, as well as seizures. 33 states had increases in the number of homes rep repossessed in that report that was recently, hmm. yeah, banks are, are more willing to move to the final stage of foreclosure because there is sufficient demand and an improving market. Yeah, and as long as there's not too many, it's pushing pricing up, exactly. which is their, what their, their goal is. Yeah, for a very long period of time, the market in general and specifically banks were unsure as to what these assets would be valued at. I don't think it's so much what, va what they were unsure what they were valued at. They just weren't totally and completely pleased with what they were valued at. So much like, you know, not everybody had the mechanism in place like Fannie Mae that you could sell a property for, say, 15% over market, not require an appraisal for it, and close it. Do you know that I had it? Speaking of that. <laughs> Ironically, you should be. <laughs> Ironically. I was speaking with an agent. I may have shared this at one point in time. I don't recall, but... I'm speaking with an agent about a property that I got a rejection on. Yeah. And he goes, is it bank owned? Yeah, it's bank owned. Well, who is the pre-approval with? And I, I give the, the lender's name. He goes, well, why don't you just go and, and get one from that bank? Because if you have it from that bank, it's going to fly a lot easier. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like if it's B of A and you're you making serious? an offer, he bet you better have a B of A letter. If you're going to bid on Wells Fargo, you better have a Wells Fargo. <laughs> I was like cracking up because I'm thinking... <laughs> What wow. world are you operating in? I'm like, wow. Buddy? Well, he handles a lot of investors, but I find it really interesting that that's the mentality. That's his perception. My offer would have been looked at better, he thought, if they were making it on both ends, you know, the loan side as right. well as the transaction. Right, and I right. just found it interesting because, yeah, that was his perception. Unless he's been told by an asset manager that that really is their methodology, uh, you need yeah. to step back. I from think the it's all assumptions. Yeah. It's a lot of assumptions. Yeah, I quit there. making. But I did find it interesting. Wow. Yeah. Also, builders spin the wheel. Okay, are you talking roulette? Or are you talking lottery? Uh, there, Explain. There, there is some uh, some betting here, but it's more so on the behalf of the home buyer. Well, one new trend resulting from the low inventory of homes for sale: lottery drawings for new homes. Yeah. Wow. Well, there's a builder out of um, Sunnyvale, California, O'Brien Homes, <laughs> builders of a new 228 development called Fusion in Sunnyvale, California, implemented a bingo-like lottery bingo! system. Bingo! I got bingo! Are you kidding <laughs> B me? B24. Can I have my retired grandma sit and uh, <laughs> take my spot? Actually, She's got better luck at bingo than I do. No substitutions, and it cannot be transferred. Is there smoking like at the casinos? I'm sure there is. <laughs> I mean, I it's really... Open have air. you ever seen... Bingo? I have, exactly. I, I'm shocked. Yeah, after seeing potential buyers camp out on the lawns of a new condo complex. Now, I think this was very sweet because uh, rather than having those folks camp out and brave the elements, what they did is they said, in essence, no, no, no need to camp out. We're going to take everyone's name and give everyone equal opportunity. So here's what I want to know. Yeah. So you have this card. Yeah. Have, and have you put the list of requirements on the card? Like, I want a dishwasher, I want a tile roof, I want so these granite, are buyers' requirements, and then I want a three-car garage. And then, as they call those out, do you get to mark the box? And then, if you get enough <laughs> and boxes marked, and, and, that's your property. And therein lies the the bingo element. Are you kidding me? No, no. That Actually, is just crazy. Throw in, throw in colors and elevations. <laughs> And, and carpet and you've got oh my god you've got the perfect this wow hey, and literally hey you know what this condo was for you wow. am i right that is how it sounds well prices rose every time a new batch of condos went up for sale the two three and four bedroom homes <laughs> started out between 420 this just boggles my mind <laughs> and it's probably 1200 square feet 420,000 and 620,000 the last group went for 555,000 to 850 
Fifteen thousand dollars, which might I add, was a thirty-two percent increase. increase. I would like to know who's doing their appraisals. Wowzers! Yeah. And their financing well, with those appraisals. I, I'm going to tell you right now. I, excuse me. I don't believe that that appraiser's job is all that easy. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Mm-mm. It's a team effort anymore with this market. And yeah, let me tell it, you, it says here um, in industry news, despite the prices increasing, buyers kept returning for more. And the last condo was recently sold. In addition to O'Brien Homes, other Bay Area builders are also using lotteries, including Shea Homes at a development in Livermore, California, and Chappelle Homes in San Ramon, California. I Neither think, of those in, in our immediate thank goodness, vicinity. Thank goodness. And the reason I say that is because what do you have that's unique there that you don't have here? You have a shortage of ground. Yeah. Again, they build up because they, they can't build out. Exactly. Why do you think they have all these condos? Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing to me, though. Yeah. That is scary. You know what? And that is such a blast from the past. Those who do not recall history were doomed to to repeat repeat it. it. All right, moving on. Exactly. Again, if you have any real estate or mortgage-related questions or questions regarding the information that Michelle and myself share with you here today on the show, it all starts with one call. Hey, on a Sunday morning, I, I don't know about you, but it's get up. Shower and shave and call the Real Estate Radio Network on your way to church. Well, because if we're going to meet this afternoon to look at property, yeah, you better we, be texting me now, calling me now. Exactly. Your set, <laughs> her schedule is filling up fast. Yeah, you can exactly. also go to our website. Check out our resources online. Search for your new home. For, or you can also listen to past shows from the Real Estate Radio Network by going to valleywidesells.com. That's valleywidesells.com. To friend, friend us on Facebook, use Press 4 Keywords. Friend Valley Wide on Facebook. Or use Press 4 Keywords. KMJ, call Valley Wide. To, to call Michelle and myself anytime, we'd love to hear from you. Well, coming up, unemployment drops to the lowest point in five years. And economists are asking, did uh, Mr. Bernicke tip his hand? Just slightly, is he yeah. He's playing poker again. Yeah, he is. He, wow. he, he's paying poker with our money. And <laughs> how do you handle consumers who are wanting or waiting for rates to go back down? Make sure you stay with us. You are listening to the Real Estate Radio Network, helping you to redefine real estate here on 105.9, the FM KMJ. This program is brought to you by the Real Estate Radio Network. Visit realestateradio.us for more info. That's realestateradio.us. Mortgage interest rates are at historic lows, and there's never been a more affordable time to buy real estate. Whether you're looking for your first home, moving up, or your next income-producing property, let the mortgage professionals at Valleywide help. Valleywide Homes has been helping homeowners with their mortgage needs since 1997. When it comes to the Valley's real estate, we know our way around the neighborhood. Call toll-free, 800-979-3958. And put the seasoned professionals at Valleywide Homes to work for you. Valleywide Homes, NMLS number 342-062-235-952. California Department of Real Estate License, 0122 Have you ever thought about going solar? It's never been easier to go solar than with a SunPower lease. You'll start saving money the very first day. Arise Solar has a team of energy consultants ready to help you determine if going solar is right for you. Start taking control of your energy costs. Contact Arise Solar, your local SunPower Elite dealer at 449-8989. That's Arise Solar at 449-8989. Or use press for keywords, Arise Solar. Did you know that all the tickets you can buy on different websites come from the same place? Did you know that you can buy every ticket you need to any event in the country, the whole country, from Pete Seats right here in Fresno? If that's the case, you need to call Pete Seats. Any ticket, any time. Sports, concerts, theater. Hey, there's Seats, and then there's Pete Seats. Premium tickets for all events, local, national, worldwide. Don't settle for a regular seat when you can get a really good Pete seat. Online at PeteSeats.net or simply 294-SEAT. That's 294-7328. How much should I be saving? When can I retire? What can I do to ensure that my estate will be left in the hands of my family once I'm gone? Is my hard-earned money safe in today's markets? With all the uncertainty in today's world, all of us at the Island Group know it is our job to provide answers to these questions. Walk with us, the Island Group, at UBS Financial Services. Call me, Kate Island, at 559-248-4097. That's 559-248-4097. And take the first step in protecting your financial future. All rights reserved. UBS Financial Services, Inc. is a subsidiary of UBS AG. Member SIPC. You're listening to Real Estate Radio Network with local expert Craig Barton. Now, here's Craig. Well, Michelle, the state unemployment rate dropped to its lowest point in nearly five years in May, and all four Central Valley counties 
Unemployment rates continued to improve according to the monthly release from the Employment Development Department this past week. I have a question for you on this Yes, ma'am. Do you believe home prices have affected unemployment? Do I believe? Absolutely. Okay, hold okay. on. Let so, me elaborate on my question yeah, a little you. bit because yeah. I want to clarify. Do you believe people's home prices, the increase in equity, has caused their perspective to change and the perspective has affected home prices? Uh, and, and employment. So, and so, so the creation me. of jobs okay. through perception, not necessarily um, profits, but perception right. of future not profits. Tangible, not tangible yeah. cash in hand, yeah. but perception. Yeah. What do you think? So the perception, when you say perception, perception about what? Perception about Optimist. the fact optimism optimism certainly absolutely because i think here in the valley that's what i see optimism about the future because property values have come back yeah. versus i lost value on my house my company suffered yeah all yeah. these things the mm -hmm. negative 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 and i'm right. starting to see more positive 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 on the other certainly well until i bring my cup and you start pouring it out <laughs> I, I, honestly know honestly though, i'm not I debbie mean... downer johnny <laughs> I, that's not my that's not my game. no but i really do think that affects the optimism for the future and the creation of jobs in turn Perception. because we have a lot of local business owners here local i mean right. come on we have a lot of small business owners local business owners if they are not optimistic and looking forward sure they're closing their doors and we've had enough of that go on right 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 no, I think perception, your perception of your reality, um, whether positive or negative, in this particular instance, extremely positive. People are going back to work. Mm -hmm. Unemployment has dropped. You know, the statewide, uh, the 8.1% statewide unemployment rate in May is the lowest it has been since November of 2008. However, California still remains above the national rate at 7.3%. Not surprising because of how agriculturally based. And there's a seasonal... Uh, well, and let's be honest, in California, they're harder on employers financially sure with taxation with permits with all the different fees involved with having a business so we know that that affects our unemployment rate more than it's going to affect another another state sure unfortunately and unfortunately when we uh, see this seasonal you know, we see this seasonal uh, increase as far mm -hmm. as jobs are concerned that's going to have a huge impact as well yeah. whereas just overall annually we are going to see that unemployment here in the state of California is going to be much higher yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. But but no, I think great optimism and a great 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 article about um unemployment shrinking. Thank yeah. you for that. Not a problem. Sorry well, to take you off track. No, no, no. Not not, a, <laughs> not at all. Economists are asking and I I could not wait to get to this and we may end up finishing the show on this today because who knows, we may not be able to get back. Because um, he can't get off the soapbox. I can't get off my soapbox. Well, economists are asking, <laughs> did Ben Bernanke tip the Fed's hand? Well, is Ben Bernanke being too chatty? Little chatty Kathy. Well, I think that uh, our <laughs> outlook for the economy. Yeah, well, that's the question <laughs> being put forward by some economists and others about Mr. Bernanke, the normally restrained and not so chatty Federal Reserve chairman. After his comments in May and last week, unfortunately, about the economy and the central bank's plans for eventually backing off its stimulus measures. Well, last week, his comments about the recovery was surpassing forecasts sent to the market into a tailspin because Wall Street was worried that the Fed would start easing its bond buying program and raise interest rates sooner than many had anticipated. That, in turn, could slow the economy some worry. Since then, the Standard & Poor's 500 stock index has lost nearly 5%. I'm so, so sorry. You know, it's the knee-jerk reaction of anything he speaks. Anything at all that the man says is going to be scrutinized one way or the other. Optimistic, pessimistic, so which way? So you and I look at this slightly different, that yeah, there could be two plausible explanations. Go ahead and tell our Here's listeners. Here's my thought. Okay. I think he op opened his mouth. And now the reaction of him opening his mouth, Oops. I think rates are going to fall again. Okay. That's, my, that's my guess. And I say that because, what is it, five lobbyists for every congressman mm -hmm. and senator in Washington. I that honestly, can't sit well. that, From banks. From <laughs> right. banks. From the, financial, from the financial group. So I really, truly believe the financial groups are going to go in there and lobby, and rates will come down. Because they will be affected. Because you and I both know in this market, we saw transactions fall because of the 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 rate rise just for the simple fact that interest rates were increased increased buyers went from qualifying to not qualifying exactly. because overnight the unfortunate thing is that they did go into contract really at their maximum right 
And if you're at your maximum, thus thus the caution, please talk with your lender. Mm-hmm. If Certainly. you are at the maximum and this, I mean, this will affect you, period, the yeah. end, unless you have been locked already. I hate to sound like I'm pleading, but I am pleading. If you have been pre-approved and yeah. you have not spoken with your loan officer in the last week and a half or you heard that rates went up and so what do we do and your loan officer says well we can't lock until we're in contract and just keep looking everything will be fine you better rerun the numbers yeah Yeah, rerun the the conversation because i will say this as well you know fannie mae's desktop underwriter the automated engine that you are going to see you know the the lion's share of mortgages run through for securitization purposes gets tweaked regularly as well. Right. So, right. you know, where we used to be able to push that to income ratios to, let's say, 50%. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Right. Is it 45? It's a constant adjustment. Maybe. Is it 44? Maybe. Is it 43? And when I say 43% debt to income ratio, all of your payments divided into your gross monthly income uh-huh. cannot exceed a certain percentage. Well, what is that percentage? It's specific to everyone. Right. Right. Given your credit, given your income, given your assets. Right. So what do you think about Ben's statement this last week and all the, all the f- fluctuation? Yeah, well, my, my gut is that because of all the positive economic data that we had seen or we have seen that the market was beginning to heat up, that he wanted to have, which, which uh, bear with me, I know that doesn't sound like totally and completely plausible because they saw – we saw in this particular article in the New York Times, James Ballard, one of the Fed's directors, public, publicly questioned the board's decision to let Mr. Bernanke expound upon its collective thought process. In a statement, Mr. Bullard said that he felt that the committee's decision to authorize the chairman to lay out a more elaborate plan for reducing the pace of asset purchases was inappropriately timed. That's why also in this article they say back in the 90s that Alan Greenspan did a great job of talking in circles because that, that way no one could really get a get a handle on. There were so many mixed signals. Well, because they want to – okay, because they, nobody has a crystal ball. Correct. And if he, if he changed that, then the spe, it would no longer be speculation. It would be here's what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. And for some reason, investors, that's not how you win. And you can't say unequivocally that – You can't cheat at the game. Right. I mean, really, that's, you know, he's not going to tell you exactly, here's what's going to happen. On Friday, we're going to go to 5%. On Saturday, we're going to go to, yeah, you can't give them a roadmap. Sure. It's an investment process. So my thought thought process is, I understand that they are a little concerned that he was so chatty, you know, he was chatting it up and affected the market in such a a, a wholesale way. Right, right. It does go to show you how much emotion is attached to to the market. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm Mm-hmm. But I can't also help but think that because of all the positive economic data and housing prices increasing at such drastic paces that he and the uh, Board of Governors sat around and said, well, maybe because we don't want this home price thing. You know, as if we we let don't want this, to create another bubble? Yeah, if this home price thing continues to increase mm-hmm. so much. Now, granted, not for every market. There are still markets where there's hurting, tons hurting. of inventory and have not, you know, we, we've seen single-digit appreciation as mm-hmm. opposed to double-double-digit appreciation in California. That he said, you know what, we need to kind of collectively cool the market's jets. So subsequently, I'm going to make this statement. Interest rates are going to jump about a percent. Mm-hmm. And what's going to, the, the collective result of that uh, of that readjustment is some folks are going to be priced out of the market and aren't going to be able to based upon their current purchasing power buy a home today right that is what it is but that also means that's going to tilt the scales Mm -hmm. in terms of of the number of eligible buyers that are out there currently and that those buyers are going to say you know i just those are going to go on the sideline other sellers are going to come on the market but hopefully inventory levels will begin to adjust and then we'll be able to get into uh you know the the four five percent appreciation per year mm-hmm. um, and that we have five six months worth of inventory on the market which mm-hmm. is really what economists want to see but is felt, it what they want to see I, I don't know I don't know that that's what they want to see anymore if you could only see the look Stirring on Michelle's face yeah you honestly are. I don't know that that's what they want to see anymore so what do you think they want to line their pockets oh, okay so I, is that how they're gonna line their pockets okay I'm not sure yeah not thinking so because it's much more lucrative for them to manipulate, and just like this, I think Ben came out. He said what he was, what his, you know, general I got this market by a tail, by its tail. He right? says this general statement. Everybody reacts, 
and it does pull people off the fence. They either jump or they don't. And now I think they're going to slide back down a little bit because he's got so many people twitterpated. They're all yeah, they're does. all like, wait, I'm not going to make any money if we go back <laughs> up in rates. You got to hold these. You got to hold these because right. my pockets aren't lined enough yet. Right, right, right. And I really do think that's what the economists and the financial. Uh, that's my guess. I think it's going to come back right, 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 right back down a bit. Uh, uh, <laughs> I do. I do. So you think the interest so, rates? So I'm going to bet you lunch. You're going to bet me lunch. I'm going right, to bet you lunch. I'm saying it goes okay. down back to say three and a half. Okay, that's well, my guess. Three and a half. That's a that's a huge. I'm giving drop. you a number. Okay, and it could be over the next say month. And, and I'm going to say that if we see any sort of settling, that uh, FHA rates, as an example, as of this week, probably trended somewhere in the ballpark of in excess of four and a half percent. Lunch, three and a half percent. If it hits there within the next thirty. Within the next thirty. Within the next thirty, you're going to buy me lunch. That's a safe bet right okay. there. Why is that a safe bet? I'm just bet? saying. I'm the just way saying. we watched it, circle, yeah, you know, the, go to the carousel. A, this, I mean, the, there's a greater likelihood. What do you call it? Um, roller coaster. Thank you. Roller carousel. Coaster this week. Yeah, carousel. It's, close. it's so all much. about the circus. Yeah, it's all it's all there at the carnival. Fair. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> Again, if you have any real estate or mortgage-related <laughs> questions, or you just like to, you know. Make fun of us. Yeah, make fun of us. Give us a call, 800-979. Yeah, go to our Facebook. You can post all sorts of stuff there. 800-979-3958. Again, that's 800-979-3958. We'd love to hear from you. Go to our website. Search for your new home. Check out our resources, or you can just ask Craig. Yeah. He's got a question regarding bankruptcy, regarding homeowner's insurance, regarding interest rates, regarding my specific situation, not mine, but yours, give us a call or go to our website, Valleywide Sells. Tell me how wrong I am. Valleywide, yeah, tell me how wrong I am. Valleywide Sells, right? <laughs> I'm sure there, there will be a huge line once we get out of the studio. Wow. That exactly. Was to friend us on Facebook, use press four keywords. Friend Valleywide on Facebook. Or use press four keywords. KMJ call Valleywide. To call into the show and give us your two cents anytime. Well, what are the recent jump in mortgage rates due to your respective purchasing power? If you aren't sure, then... How did it affect your perception? Make sure you stay with us. You are listening to the Real Estate Radio Network, helping you to redefine real estate. Here on 105.9, the FM KMJ. This program is brought to you by the Real Estate Radio Network. Visit realestateradio.us for more info. That's realestateradio.us. All it takes is one call to the professionals at Valleywide Homes, and you'll start building wealth in real estate. Whether you're looking for your first home, moving up, or your next income-producing investment property, let the experts at Valleywide Homes help. There's never been a better time to get into the real estate market. Visit our website at reofresnohomes.com or call toll-free 800-979-3958. That's 800-979-3958. And put the seasoned professionals at Valleywide Homes to work for you. Have you ever thought about going solar? It's never been easier to go solar than with a SunPower lease. You'll start saving money the very first day. Arise Solar has a team of energy consultants ready to help you determine if going solar is right for you. Start taking control of your energy costs. Contact Arise Solar, your local SunPower Elite dealer at 449-8989. That's Arise Solar at 449-8989. Or use press 4 keywords, Arise Solar. Did you know that all the tickets you can buy on different websites come from the same place? Did you know that you can buy every ticket you need to any event in the country, the whole country, from Pete's Seats right here in Fresno? If that's the case, you need to call Pete's Seats any ticket, anytime. Sports, concerts, theater. Hey, there's seats, and then there's Pete's Seats. Premium tickets for all events, local, national, worldwide. Don't settle for a regular seat when you can get a really good Pete's seat. Online at Pete'sSeats.net or simply 294-SEAT. That's 294-7328. How much should I be saving? When can I retire? What can I do to ensure that my estate will be left in the hands of my family once I'm gone? Is my hard-earned money safe in today's markets? With all the uncertainty in today's world, all of us at the Island Group know it is our job to provide answers to these questions. Walk with us, the Island Group, at UBS Financial Services. Call me, Kate Island, at 559-248-4097. That's 559-248-4097. And take the first step in protecting your financial future. All rights reserved. UBS Financial Services, Inc. is a subsidiary of UBS AG. Member SIPC. You're listening to Real Estate Radio Network with local expert Craig Barton. Now, here's Craig. Well, Michelle, just how much did the increase in interest rates that we saw after uh, Mr. Bernanke's comments this past week affect uh, your buyer's purchasing power? 
Any guesses? I have not fallen out of escrow on anything, heavens. <laughs> but I know As people who yet. have. Oh, because what they were qualified for, they are no longer qualified for. And thus my belief in the backlash bin's gonna take. Yeah. From the institutions and the and the real estate world. Go ahead. So you think that the collective pressure mm-hmm. when it comes right down to it, that there's going to be basically way too much collective pressure. Mm-hmm. For him not to come back and maybe retract, because that is... Maybe not. I don't, yeah, know. I don't know if he'll retract the comment. Or modify the comment to a certain Well, degree. and here's the thing. The but, ebb and flow of the market is such that he doesn't have to retract. They're not going to buy it, though, do you it think? It just has to... Readjust? It just has to readjust, and it, based on how he moves forward. Perception yeah. is everything. It's one little sales pitch, sure. and he's good to go. Yeah, perception. Honestly, I believe mm-hmm. that. Yeah, they they haven't been doing anything to manipulate the market thus far. Not so at I'm, all. I'm sure Never. It, it, it's just gonna. Of course, it's gonna settle and right back down to what did yeah. you say? What did we bet on? Three and a half. Three and a half in thirty days. Oh, bring it, sister. All right. Yeah, Lunch so, is gonna be so yeah. yummy. I'm gonna uh, pick where to go. Where yeah. should I go? Somebody? Yeah. Anybody out Call there? Have any recommendations? Where Michelle should take me to lunch? Eight hundred. I am not taking you to lunch. Eight. Yes, you are. No. Thirty days, baby. Let me tell you. Thirty days. Three and a half. Thirty days. Well, to give you some perspective, it wasn't all that long ago that. Interest rates on an FHA, 30-year fixed rate purchase mortgage, were somewhere in the ballpark of about three and a quarter percent. Three and with a an quarter? With an APR of about, slightly, in, with an APR slightly in excess of 3.55. So the gross income required to qualify, and these are general statements, so be so careful. So rates were at three and a quarter. Rates were at three and a quarter, and basically what you needed income-wise was approximately $2,781 per month gross income. Gross before income. Before taxes. Before taxes. In order to qualify for that $175,000 purchase and a payment of $1,223. Okay, so let me, let me get this straight. You're yeah. under three grand a month. Under three grand a month. For a $175,000 home, mm-hmm. total income. Total income. At three and a quarter. At three and a quarter percent. Wow. With an APR of slightly in excess of 3.55. Okay, well. Yeah, yeah that's my disclosure. Yeah, I know. Full I know. disclosure. And that's FHA. <laughs> that's FHA. Okay. And we're just using FHA for competitive So 175000 So tell me, what's 175000 at a different rate. Well, let's take a look at 175,000 at 4.625. See, so, this is why. Go ahead. Yeah. So, 175,000 at a rate of 4.625 with an APR of slightly in excess of 4.87. So, we went up not even a rate in a uh, point and a half. A point, correct. And we saw that the increase in monthly payment, your payment from three and a quarter went up $135.63. See, that's substantial for a lot of folks out there. And what that also meant is that you needed an additional $301.40 a month. So you add that to the $2,781 a month. So now you're over three grand a month. You've got to be over. over. Uh Uh-huh, exactly. So for under three grand, I was buying a hundred seventy five thousand dollar house for mm-hmm. twenty seven hundred bucks yep. a month income. Yep. Now I got to up three hundred bucks a month. You know how long to buy it takes. The same house. Yeah, but if you think about it, you know how long it takes for a person. I mean, that is a ten percent. Yeah, it's it is a ten percent increase. Increase as far as and your so concerned. for one individual to go ten percent increase in their income when we are not, not seeing employment in that area, no. that we're not seeing two percent, three percent every year. People get half percent raises anymore. Correct. So you're talking about a huge adjustment to the market in our local economy. A huge impact. Huge. So let's say, as an example, that that $2,781 was the maximum that mm-hmm. you could qualify. And that's all that it's going to be for another year, two, three, or four. That your income didn't go up. You're out. So exactly. if your income didn't go up by $301.40 a month, what happened to your purchase? Yeah, where power? am I at now? I was buying a hundred seventy five thousand dollar house. Correct. Now right. what am I buying? Now, with an interest rate of again, four point six two five percent on a thirty year fixed rate FHA mortgage with a an APR of slightly in excess of four point eight five. Now your purchasing power went down to a hundred and fifty eight thousand. And do you know what houses are out there at a hundred and fifty eight thousand? Mm-hmm. And who you're competing with yep. at a hundred and fifty eight thousand. That's that's why I think the backlash is going to hit him. Yeah. Because even just our local ecosystem here, at one hundred fifty-eight thousand, you're competing with investors out there. You're you're competing with flippers out there. You are competing with every uh, first-time home buyer that's out there. That is a niche amount mm-hmm. that has the masses going for it. So let me some summarize this your income either had because of the jump in interest rates that we saw this past week your income either had to go up Mm -hmm. by slightly in excess of 10 Mm percent or your purchasing power had to decrease 
by roughly 10%. Correct. And here's the thing. Five, ten, ten years ago. Let's mm-hmm. talk ten years ago. So that was what, 2003? Yeah. Let's say 2005. Let's okay. say 2005 when yeah. the market started really starting to drive it and was go in, forward. It was in, it was in yeah. full gear, okay? Mm-hmm. When we would give a cushion to a client, it wasn't a 10% cushion. No. It wasn't necessary when you had rates at 8%. Right. When you have rates as low as we have them, that cushion better be there because one little change affects and upsets the market to such a degree. So you you really, in your gut, believe that because we saw such a huge swing mm-hmm. this past week mm-hmm. that there's too many hands in the pot yep. to allow the Fed, mm-hmm. and specifically Mr. Bernanke, to uh, get away with it, yeah, get and away I don't mean it. that in a bad way. I think there's too many, too many forces pushing in on him mm-hmm. for there not to be some adjustment to what he's said. S- some persuasion uh-huh. going on, and it, it, like I said, it may just be a new sales pitch and in, in his comments that change it slightly that give him the leeway mm-hmm. that help that market go back but, the other way. But my next question would be: Is so I understand and I agree with you. I think it's plausible. I, I think it is very plausible that there's too much pressure on him to, but. How much pressure is there is there on the market to okay? We understand. So let's say he comes back and he revises his statement or mm-hmm. or makes no, I don't some see clarification. A I see clarification. Clarification. Or, right. Because okay. so, he doesn't want to take it all back. No, no, no. But it's because foundationally, a lot of what his statement uh, meant to the market really was right on. Right. At, at some point, right. the Feds are going to slowly allow the market. They, they're going to take themselves out of that position to being the lion's share purchaser of mortgage backs or of uh, of treasury bonds in the market and allow the market to take care of itself or quote unquote limp along on its own. What I just can't understand or can't wrap my brain around is the market saying, oh, okay, we believe you. You know what I'm saying? And readjusting downward. That's what I don't think. I don't think that so you don't think they're going to follow his lead it, it, if again. He, I think it's plausible that he could revise his statement, but after he revises his statement, I don't think the market because of how emotional emotionally charged the market is and has been for quite some time that they would say oh okay well he said it so we're going to go back the other direction and it's all going to be fine i don't think all right well let's see we got 30 days let's watch it lunch i know i'm thinking sushi i don't know maybe a big steak (laughs) don't think you're taking me to mickey d's or Uh, couple bell or any drive through action come on now we're gonna go sit down you know i'm a generous guy you You said sushi Sushi steak, something, something, something substantial, something yummy. There you go. I so, think Jocko's at the coast might be a really nice lunch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Kidding. Well, no, maybe um, not. If, if you want to meet me and my wife and my family oh, over yeah. there, Tiffy um, would in love that. July. I think Tiffy'd be on my side. You, uh, I'm calling her, <laughs> Tiffy. You know you want to jump on my bandwagon. Come on now, exactly. There's, hey, there's your wife's room a smart on my woman. Yes, she is. <laughs> oh wait a minute, that's not how I meant that. Darn. <laughs> So, really, how do you handle consumers who are waiting for rates to go back down? Well, it isn't easy, but it must be said that I don't believe that rates are going back down. I think you should send them to me. They could be in my court. I'm happy to corral them and give them information and give them constant feedback on where the market Mm -hmm. is. And they are more than – if that's their wish, they can come back back to me. I don't believe – currently that rates are going to go back down anything probably lower than four and a quarter percent maybe four at the lowest you said three and a half i just don't think there is that much play in the market and let's let's face it whenever you have someone in that particular position like chairman bernicke Mm -hmm. making a statement like that that um again the market is so emotionally charged I, i don't think there's any way that the market is going to quote unquote adjust that much lower they're going to say hey we're going to price in some speculation that it's not so okay. we're going to bet against the market going wow yeah. don't get me started on that okay yeah, yeah. no I, right. I really really do I hear what but you're as saying. far as those consumers that say hey i'm waiting waiting for mortgage so rates do you to think they've down, missed the boat uh i wouldn't say miss the boat so are you it, saying i'm missing the boat greg that no, the boat has I come would. and driven away <laughs> and and left dear michelle at the pier <laughs> I don't think so. I think, ooh, Pier. Let's go to Pier 39. Yeah. Let's have some there clam have chowder some for our chowder. lunch. Ooh, and some John, lobster. Johnny, I don't know if this is working in my, <laughs> my best interest here. I think I Johnny should come with. It'll be good there times. You go. There you go, Johnny. That's, you're now part of the bet. That's it. That's it. No, but those, those consumers that are waiting for rates to go back down, I wouldn't, if, here's the deal, okay? Speculate whichever way you want. I always make this statement. 
when it's time to lock, once you have collateral, lock and run the other direction. I can only tell you what the market's going to, what the market will do to, or has done today and how potentially that would affect rates on a go forward basis tomorrow morning. That's all the speculation. Oh, no, that we I can, agree. That I we agree. can make. Mm -hmm. So when it comes right now. So it's down all to, a guess. It's all a guess. Yeah. If you qualify at 4.625 yep. as of today on a 30 year fixed rate mortgage up to a base loan amount of 381,250 in Fresno County, mm -hmm. then guess what? You better lock it and run the other way. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll see. And if you're a seller that is looking to uh, sell your home, there's never been a better time to sell. Yeah, because you don't know what the future holds. Exactly. But wait a minute. You don't know what you don't know. What you don't know. Exactly. Right. Again, if you have any real estate or mortgage-related questions or questions regarding the information that Michelle and myself speculate and toss and... Lunch. Yeah, yum, lunch. Yum. Yeah, exactly. It all starts with one call. Give us a call anytime. 800-979-3958. Again, that's 800-979-3958. You can also go to our website and check out our resources online. You can just ask Craig. Yeah, if you've got a question about what's my home worth, uh, I've got a bankruptcy question, I've got mm -hmm. an interest rate question, um, I've got a homeowner's insurance question, go to our website, valleywidesells.com. To friend us on Facebook, use press 4 keywords. Friend Valleywide on Facebook. Or use press 4 keywords. KMJ, call Valleywide. To call into the show anytime. We'd love to get your input. Well, coming up, Rosemary from Madera says, I spoke with Bank of America about a refinance recently, and they were going to be able to save me $50. When does it make sense for me to refinance? Well, when we return, we're going to take some listener questions. Make sure you stay with us. You are listening to the Real Estate Radio Network, helping you to redefine real estate. Here on 105.9, the FM KMJ. This program is brought to you by the Real Estate Radio Network. Visit realestateradio.us for more info. That's realestateradio.us. Mortgage interest rates are at historic lows, and there's never been a more affordable time to buy real estate. Whether you're looking for your first home, moving up, or your next income-producing property, let the mortgage professionals at Valleywide help. Valleywide Homes has been helping homeowners with their mortgage needs since 1997. When it comes to the Valley's real estate, we know our way around the neighborhood. Call toll-free, 800-979-3958. And put the seasoned professionals at Valleywide Homes to work for you. Valleywide Homes, and MLS number 342062. 235952, California Department of Real Estate License, 01228460. Have you ever thought about going solar? It's never been easier to go solar than with a SunPower lease. You'll start saving money the very first day. Arise Solar has a team of energy consultants ready to help you determine if going solar is right for you. Start taking control of your energy costs. Contact Arise Solar, your local SunPower Elite dealer, at 449 8989. That's Arise Solar at 449 8989. Or use press four keywords, Arise Solar. Did you know that all the tickets you can buy on different websites come from the same place? Did you know that you can buy every ticket you need to any event in the country? The whole country. From Pete Seats right here in Fresno. If that's the case, you need to call Pete Seats. Any ticket, anytime. Sports, concerts, theater. Hey, there's seats, and then there's Pete Seats. Premium tickets for all events, local, national, worldwide. Don't settle for a regular seat when you can get a really good Pete seat. Online at PeteSeats.net or simply 294-SEAT. That's 294-7328. How much should I be saving? When can I retire? What can I do to ensure that my estate will be left in the hands of my family once I'm gone? Is my hard-earned money safe in today's markets? With all the uncertainty in today's world, all of us at the Island Group know it is our job to provide answers to these questions. Walk with us, the Island Group, at UBS Financial Services. Call me, Kate Island, at 559-248-4097. That's 559-248-4097. And take the first step in protecting your financial future. All rights reserved. UBS Financial Services, Inc. is a subsidiary of UBS AG. Member SIPC. You're listening to Real Estate Radio Network with local expert Craig Barton. Now, here's Craig. Well, Michelle, uh, Rosemary from Madera asks, I recently spoke with Bank of America about refinancing my mortgage, and they were going to be able to save me $50 a month. Yeah, she wasn't very pleased about it. She wasn't too tickled, huh? No, because... Wasn't real impressed. I should say. Well, because I guess they've they've you know they've propositioned her over and over and over again on the phone. We can save you money. We can save you money. Sure. sure. Well, when it came down to it, it was fifty dollars. Yep. And now, if you look at the life of the loan, you look at some other things. You, you tell me, does that make sense for her? Well, there's a couple things we need to uh, that we a, a little more information that we need in order to really break it out for Rosemary. First and foremost, the net savings is fifty dollars, and it is always it is all relative based upon 
what percentage that fifty dollars is to your monthly mortgage payment. Okay, well, I think her mortgage was about nine hundred a month. So okay. that what is that? That's twenty. That's five percent. No, yeah. Okay, yeah, five percent. So a little, little less than five percent savings. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, however, if let's say your mortgage payment is four hundred dollars and you're able to save. Fifty dollars. That's fairly significant. Okay. Now, so that's one variable you need to take into consideration: the percentage of of your existing mortgage payment that you're able to reduce. Secondarily, what are the total costs of refinancing? Meaning, if you're saving yourself fifty dollars and it costs you five thousand dollars, let's say mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. the total of of let's say, and it, not to say that it's going to cost you that, but let's say it's five thousand dollars. You divide the fifty into the five thousand, and that tells you the number of months that you need to keep that loan. In order to recoup the cost. That's a lot of months. After, after that number of months, then you're plus plus in terms of actual savings. Okay. Right? Well, now, but are you plus plus because you just maybe spent three years paying it and now you're adding three years on the end? It could very well be. Yeah. The numbers, the numbers also don't lie if you take the existing principal and interest mm-hmm. payment. And this is another variable that you need to take, take into consideration. You, you're doing a great job of steering me in the right direction. You take the existing principal and interest payment okay. at, at whatever it is, and based upon the remaining number of months, let's say you have 20 years left okay. on your existing loan. So that's 240 months. So you take $900, and that's principal and interest, not taxes, insurances, mortgage insurance. You just take the $900, and you multiply that over 240 months. Mm-hmm. That's your total payback. Then what you do on the new loan is you take your new principal and interest payment, and let's say you refinance it at a 30-year term, so that's Mm -hmm. 360 months. You take the new principal and interest payment, multiply that out over the 360 months, and that's the total amount of principal and interest you're going to pay over that term and compare the two. Now, there are times when those numbers aren't what we really need to look at. Sure. maybe Because the the monthly becomes more more lifestyle issue, like... I've had food many, to mouth yeah, versus I've had many, long-term many, expense. Many customers that I've spoken with over the past 15, 20 years mm-hmm. and have said, hey, it's, uh, I, I'm just looking at net, net, net savings on I a see. monthly okay. basis because it's more important for me to be able to put food on my table, mm-hmm. to have all these debts consolidated into one payment, right. and to live. Right. And and to not be as stressed as I am. Because let's be honest, for some people, 50 bucks is, 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 significant. is paying the PG&E. Yep. Exactly. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. She did have some questions. She, one of the other things I found interesting, mm-hmm. she also asked me if big bank versus small company, small broker, mm-hmm. which one would I recommend? Well, I think, you know, you can. Yeah, I want to hear your take because I'm going to tell you my take. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can say, hey, you know, Craig's a nice guy and he'll do a great job for you. But that's not really. I think yeah, that's, I didn't say that. But no, I, I understand. <laughs> I think that's what a lot of people do is, is they say, oh, well, this, that, and the other thing. Honestly. The numbers shouldn't lie, and they don't lie. So when it comes right down to it, it doesn't matter whether it's a big bank, whether it's right. um, Craig Barton with Valleywide or you know Mike Gilmore with uh, Mission Hills Mortgage. Right. It it See, granted having a relationship with someone if you already say. have a pre-existing relationship, that's most important. But ultimately, when the day is done, the numbers aren't going to lie as to whether it makes dollars and cents for you to refinance. I will say one other thing here real quick, just to throw in here before you finish your next thought, okay. um, is lenders also have written into their guidelines something that's called net tangible benefit. Mm-hmm. And you have to, in order to refinance, in order for them to allow you to refinance, it has, to, just not, it has to make sense and meet this net tangible benefit gotcha. guideline. Because gotcha. if it doesn't, then guess what? The lender's not going to allow you to do it. Ethically, there's an issue. And, and there's, that's kind of a stopgap in uh-huh. there for... Um, excuse me, but you're only saving $34 right. that we're not going to allow you to do that. Right. Whereas back in the day, that was happening quite a bit. Right, right. Because. It made, yeah, they were, some, was, some compelling speaker sold it. Well, the one thing I found interesting was her, her question regarding big or small. Mm-hmm. And I've, I've worked stock held and I've worked small business owner. And for me, the answer was clear from my perspective. Mm-hmm. I believe small is is better in some cases because you have a relationship, you have a specific person you're able to call versus large conglomerate. Right. And I said, honestly, they just changed the Department of Real Estate to the Bureau of Real Estate, <laughs> which was my example. Right, right. Because I said it was really easy for a small company to get the word out via email. We are now the, you know, 
the Department of Real Estate has now California changed to Bureau, Bureau of Real Estate. Estate. And I said, think of how long it takes for a large organization to get something as small as that. For it to trickle down. For it to trickle down to everybody. Yeah. And I found that to be just kind of funny. Like it was a prime example. And we'd, we'd had that conversation this week right. with all of the staff. And, uh, yeah, how easy it was to gather 20 people or 40 people and have that conversation versus... 500,000 people in the, in the company. Yeah. No offense, Wells Fargo. <laughs> but I also feel like you get a relationship and you're able to call and you trust the person on the other end because they did your last transaction. Sure. And you trust they're going to be honest with you on the future, so the the future transactions. Of, the moral of the story could be uh, do your comparison shopping. Mm -hmm. if that's, if, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's part of what makes you feel informed. Mm -hmm. And then once you've done your comparison shopping, um, if it comes down to, hey, there really is no difference between company A and company C. It's ease of use and relationship. Let that relationship mm -hmm. speak volumes. Absolutely. So that no, was, matter, no matter which side of the coin it yeah, is on. Yeah, exactly. So that was my take. So I didn't say, you're going to love Craig Barton. But I did say, <laughs> you're going to trust. She's so my, fired, I, huh? I, I I'm, I'm, no, I didn't, but I, I really feel like it's I a know, business. It's a relationship-driven question, and I really did think that relationship is huge, especially in this environment of, of the Valley. I mean, I really do believe people like to do business with people they feel comfortable with and, and can ask questions of. People want to do business with people that they know, that they like, and that they trust. Exactly. Isn't that what I said? Line. No, it is. You, you, I think I said you that. You said it kind of like that. Yeah, three and a half in 30 days. You just watch. Sorry. Back to that. Okay. Hey, we had a great first-time home buyer workshop last Thursday night. Yeah. Oh my gosh! First-time home buyers and HUD buyers came to our office, and we had the most amazing workshop. We're doing it again this month, July, July. Mm -hmm. on eighteenth yep. at six thirty in the evening at our office at Maple and Herndon. Gotcha. Um, we had agents speak. We had lenders speak. We answered title questions, escrow questions. It was an amazingly interesting um, group of people that came. A lot of great questions that came out of it, and I believe next month we, we're we actually serving dinner Yeah, and going to have uh, a bigger group, it looks like. So, so if you want to get educated and fed. Yeah, because we're like that. Yeah. We're all about we're food. Like that. We're all about, <laughs> we're all about yeah. food. <laughs> Go to the First Time Homebuyers Workshop at Valley Wide Homes the third Thursday, uh -huh. July, 18th. Uh, July 18th at 6.30 p.m. Valley Wide's address is 7082 North Maple Avenue, Suite 104, Fresno, California, 93720. Awesome. Well, again, if you have any real estate or mortgage-related questions or questions regarding the information that Michelle and myself share with you on our show, give us a call, 800-979-3958. Again, that's 800-979-3958. You can also go to our website, valleywidesells.com. To friend us on Facebook, use Press 4 Keywords. Friend Valleywide on Facebook. Or use Press 4 Keywords. KMJ, KMJ call, call Valleywide. Valley Wide to get connected to the show anytime. Well, a big thank you to Michelle Lynn Pettis, my tried and trusty co-host. Thanks so much for being here, kid. I appreciate it. Johnny, thanks so much. Johnny, <laughs> can't wait to have lunch at uh, yeah, exactly. God only knows on where we're taking right. us. Okay, on me. All right. Our goal at the Real Estate <laughs> Radio Network is to get you, our listeners, the timely and accurate truth about your local real estate market so we can help bring you back home. Don't forget to tune in to the Real Estate Radio Network next Sunday at 7 a.m. right here on 105.9 the FM KMJ Local News local talk. Make it a great day, Central Valley, and we will see you next week. The preceding program was paid for by the Real Estate Radio Network.